Hi, and welcome to part 11 of Sturgeon's Lies. And this one is one I think that sums up the big problem that certainly does need a separate investigation all of itself. And that is the, and I'm gonna use the word experts, that Sturgeon surrounded herself by. Because they weren't, of course, experts at all. You had Calderwood, who was a gynecologist and obstetrician. You had uh, Gregor Smith, who was just a GP not an expert, um, you know, so he, a family doctor, not not anyone who would know anything. And of course, Jason Leach, who uh, likes to call himself a professor, but he's no such thing. Uh, and he's a dentist. Um, okay, none of these, of course, are um, infectious diseases epidemiologists, nor are they uh, the bacteriologists or anything like that. They're not experts in this field. What they are are the people in the right place that will tell Sturgeon exactly what she needs to hear officially for her to politicise and weaponise the pandemic. The last thing, of course, she wanted to hear was from real experts who would be telling her the things she was doing were completely the wrong things. But that's, uh, that's not helpful to her, is it? She needs to be able to push an agenda, not sort out a pandemic. And so the likes of uh, Woolhouse, who is uh, an infectious disease epidemiologist, an expert in the field. And of course, you had Pennington, Sir Hugh Pennington, who happened to be the guy that actually discovered the coronavirus in the first place. They were both there. They were both available. And did she talk to them or listen to them? No, because their advice wouldn't help her achieve her ends. And yet see, she says that she had no issues with the advisors that she had. They were adequate advisors. She said that the advice that they got uh, was, uh, was good advice. She had high confidence in it. High confidence in a dentist and ignored an epidemiologist. What happens in those cases, of course, people die. Lots and lots of people die. Let's see what the next one is. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye.